Hey guys, Sascha here from netbooknews.com. I'm sitting together with Tim Brown, aka uh, Taipan from Shansai.com, and we are just taking a look at some recent tablets from the Shansai markets. And well, Tim, you, you got like four different form factors over here, and we saw already uh, some of these uh, on your on your website Shansai.com. You did some unboxing videos and some hands-on videos. Could you talk us through these devices a little bit? Uh, sure, Shasha, not a problem. Uh, these are all, as you can see, uh, tablets, many of them, three, at least three out of the four, looking very much like the Apple iPad form factor defined by Apple earlier this year. We've got a full 10-inch uh, size device here that's actually quite similar to the iPad in terms of size, slightly different in terms of actual shape and dimensions. I think the iPad's a little bit more square than this particular iteration. Uh, we've also got a 7-inch iPad-like size device here, again, unibody chassis, very similar to the, uh, the iPad actually in terms of form factor and stylings. We've got another 7-inch uh, uh, device here, we've got, uh, this one's not quite so iPad looking from uh, Wit Tech is the name of the company that produces it, but again, this one was designed to be mounted inside of a car and yeah. uh, it's, it's quite a cheap device. GPS navigation device, something that... Yeah, and this one here is for people who I guess really demand a lot of portability and they want to be able to bring their tablet kind of experience with them everywhere and this is the RAM OS W7 and it's quite small, you can slip that easily in your pocket. So that's 4.5 inch or 4.8 inch? This one's 4.8 inches. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the different uh, hardware platforms that these uh, manufacturers are using because I think we have some kind of varieties in there. Sure. I think, as I said, most of the products are kind of taking their stylings from the Apple iPad, but they have tried to build in some different hardware features, especially a lot of the stuff that you see people complaining about that the iPad doesn't have, and iPad's too expensive, and it doesn't have right. USB, and it doesn't have removable storage, and it doesn't have all these things. And if you look at the I.O. on these various devices, what you'll see is they've really picked up on those complaints, and most of them have some kind of removable storage, whether it's right. SD or micro SD. They've got that. They've all basically got USB connectivity outside of them as well, taking them out. Some of them even have things like HDMI out and various other ports. Uh, they've really tried to address those issues uh, from the outside and the basic I.O. and kind of features that they've added to the device. On the inside, we're seeing system on a chip platforms from a bunch of different companies, which makes it really interesting because actually, if you think about our, our PC and our netbook game, there's really one dominant player, a couple of other guys who are trying to challenge them in there. But in the tablet arena, you're seeing a lot of challenges from a lot of different companies. Right. Now, your mainstream OEM companies are probably using your Qualcomm and your Freescale type products that are a little bit more upstream. But here at the, the Shanzai sort of level and the lower end of the market, we're seeing people like Telechip, uh, Zenithink, uh, Wonder Media, Rockchip is very popular, one that we're seeing a lot of different devices. And another thing that's interesting about these is they all have their different strengths of their platforms. So what we're finding is, actually, while a lot of the tablets are starting to kind of look the same and have some of the similar features, you're finding very different performance benefits in different products. Some of them have really strong playback of local video, some yeah. of them have a great YouTube video experience, some of them have a very good browsing experience. So it's really kind of an interesting mix of options, at least for the consumer, to see what kind of device they like. I think this 10-inch one is running on an 11... Uh ARM 11, 1 GHz, or is it an ARM 9? I think something like that, but this is a 1 GHz device. That's okay. a 1 GHz processor, Zenithink branded their own chip, and also the tablet itself is branded Zenithink. And it's ZT180. 